Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Let's face it, having a licensed copy of software or Windows is much better than having cheap knockoffs. So today, we're gonna tell you how you can get your hands on a cheap Windows 10. Let's begin. So let's jump over to the computer and I will show you guys how to use this product. We can get started with how to find this product and how to download it and how to activate your version of Windows 10 Pro for only $16. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is decide which browser you would like to use. I'm gonna use Mozilla Firefox. Then we're gonna go ahead to a site called bmlkeys.com. That's where we're gonna be searching for this. So when you get to the main page of this site, you'll be able to see that they don't just sell Windows, they also sell a few other things like Microsoft Office. Um, so you can get some things for quite discounted prices here. Now, if you guys want to get the Windows software license, just go to the store. Now, you can either just search Windows 10, or you can see there's a few packages down here ready for you to order straight away. So we'll go for Microsoft Windows 10 Professional Retail. And as you can see, it's only $17.99 to start off with, which is already pretty good. Now, if you guys have done any research at all whatsoever, then you'd probably know that Windows 10 Pro actually costs anywhere between $120 to $130 usually. And you know what, let's just go ahead and cover all bases and go over to Amazon.com and I'll search for it right now. So we'll go with Windows 10 Pro. And there you go, you can see $129, $199, $147. It's an expensive piece of software. So you guys can see the difference. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to BML keys. And just so you guys know, if you're a little bit sketchy about this or anything, then I want you to know that I've used this a bunch of times before and that this computer that I'm actually using right now had a key from here and I actually got a full retail key from my system and it's working just fine, as you can see. So basically what's gonna happen when you download this? First, you're gonna need to create your Windows Media bootable drive, which I'm gonna show you how to do that. And you're gonna be putting this on a USB stick like this once you get Windows downloaded. Right, so once you get Windows downloaded and you have it installed, then it's gonna come up with a little watermark in the corner of your screen, like this on screen now, saying that you need to activate Windows. Now, all you're gonna to need to do is go to the settings inside Windows, go to your activation and change product key. And once you do that, you just put in your product key and it will activate Windows for you, and that's basically it. But if you have any questions on how to do that, then I'm gonna go ahead and show you now. So first, let's have a look through the buying process. And I'm just gonna show you how it works. Uh, obviously, I've already bought it and I've already got the system installed on my PC, but I'll go through some of the steps just to demonstrate how it all works. So let's just go ahead and buy this thing now. So we're gonna go ahead and add to cart. I'm gonna go to my cart. Okay, so there we are, we are now in my cart and you'll see that there is a little promo code down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my promo code in there, which is YouTube2020. Apply the coupon. Bam, straight away. We've got the discount applied. $16.19. That's pretty cheap for Windows. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit the order now. I'll proceed to check out. And once your order has been placed, all you need to do is just log into your account and you should see a little button which will show you where you can download the drive maker and also the key for your Windows product as well. Okay, so what to do next basically is you need to make yourself a bootable media device for your new PC that you're gonna be installing Windows on. So I always prefer to do it on a little USB stick. You just take one of these and you're gonna to go to the Microsoft website to download Windows 10 and you can just go to Google to do that. So we'll just go to Google and we'll do uh, download Windows Windows 10 boot drive. And we get this create installation media for Windows. And obviously we want Windows 10. And then we'll click download tool now. And I've already downloaded this, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that tool and we'll get to work. So at this stage, I'm gonna plug my USB stick in now. Make sure that your drive is completely empty and you've formatted it ready to make a boot drive. And then we're going to create installation media for USB flash drive for another PC. We're gonna select the architecture and addition. Uh, this is all correct here, Windows 10, 64-bit. 
Um, if there's anything else that you need, you know, obviously change the language, then go ahead. And also we're gonna be clicking on USB flash drive, which as you can see, it does need to be a minimum of eight gigabytes. And then we're gonna select which drive we're going to use, which is this one here, it's my E drive. And then click next. So that's just working through now. All you have to do when you have your new PC built and you're ready to install Windows, you just have to plug in your USB drive into one of the USB ports and then boot up your computer. And the computer will automatically do the rest. You'll basically come up to the Windows splash screen and it will ask you to install Windows. And then from there, once you have Windows installed, like I said, it will come up on here to go to an activation page to change the product key. Now throw in that product key that I said that you will receive on your user profile from BML keys and it will just activate Windows immediately. So right there you have your key or code and you'll get that key and you'll put it in right here and it will activate your Windows for you. Anyway, so that's how you guys can get yourself Windows super cheap. Like I said, you can get the OEM version or the retail version, but either way, it's going to be a lot cheaper than buying it from a full retail store or even off Amazon. So I really hope that this helps you guys out and I hope you guys use this to your advantage. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys no longer have to overspend while setting up your Windows. Do take a look at our website to gain more insight into how you can make your computer better.